Hello my readers of the realm, my name is Shay, welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about the books that I've read within the past six months. Graduate school has demanded a bunch of my time, so when I do have free time I get a sliver of free time to read some books and I wanted to share with you the books that I've read, the books that I loved, and the books I didn't love so much. So let's get started. The first book that I read last year was The Poppy War by Ara Kuang. This is book one and I think it's going to be a trilogy. This is a Chinese epic fantasy military fantasy novel and I did a full-length review of the poppy war you can check that review out on the screen right here the next book that I read was in October it was the fledgling by Octavia Butler I love Octavia E Butler's work however for this particular book for me it didn't fly so well I do love vampires I did read this because it was during October and I liked that spooky horror feel to it unfortunately I did have a problem with the two main characters and their age differences despite that the main character her did announce her real age. The fact that she was trapped in the little girl's body kind of made it a little awkward and weird at times. And also there were these encampments where the vampires would hang out at and it kind of had that uh, Charles Manson cult vibe to it. So I didn't love it, but I didn't hate it. It was just more of an indifference for me. But I do love her work and I just wanted to let you guys know that The Fledgling was a miss for me. The next book that I read is Dune Messiah by Frank Herbert. Everybody knows that I'm a pro Dune person. It is just as good as the first book. I know a lot of people either love it or hate it. They're very diverse divisive on this sequel and for many reasons I can see why. I do plan on doing a full-length review of Doom Messiah and explain the reasons why I love it so much so stay tuned for that one. Next I read The Calculating Stars by Mary Robinette Cowell. This book is amazing. I am surprised that it wasn't nominated for the Hugo Award which is stupid. I don't think it had the eligibility qualifications for a Hugo, but in my defense, I think this should win a Hugo or at least be nominated for a Hugo. It's amazing. It's probably one of my favorite books of 2018. It is a historical a uh, science fiction novel about a woman who wants to become a female astronaut and go off into space. It is so good. I encourage you guys to read this. I'll put my full length review of it up on the screen so you guys can check it out. The next book that I read is Raven Stratagem by Yoon Ha Lee. Yoon Ha Lee is an autobi author for me. So this is the sequel to the Machines of Empire series, which I love so much. It's a make or break for most people. They either love it or hate it with this series. I'm on the love it side and it's just so much fun. I love this. It's a hard science fiction military novel and I will explain my reasons why I love it and give a review on this one as well. And the next two books that I read is Red Sister and Grey Sister by Mark Lawrence. This is book one and this is book two of the Book of the Ancestor trilogy. So I'm going to be posting my review of both Red Sister and Grey Sister and tell you why I loved it so much. It's amazing. It's about magical nuns and their assassins and it's just full of female friendships and fighting and just female fatale, so it was excellent. And I finally got my hands on Holy Sister from the publisher, so I can't wait to read that book. I might either do a trilogy review of all three books or I might do them separately, but yes, I love these books so much. If you guys haven't read these, what are you doing with your life? Seriously, go check them out, they're amazing. And the next book that I read within the past six months is Blood Song by Anthony Ryan. So when I first started my YouTube channel on reviewing books, one reader of the realm mentioned to me to read Blood Song and I didn't get around to doing it at the time and I'm so mad at myself that I didn't do it sooner, but glad that I actually had the time to do it now. Blood Song is surprisingly good. The history behind Blood Song is that it was a independent author and he sold it to Orbit, I believe, and they were able to publish it to a wider audience. And I'm so glad that they did because it's amazing. I will do a review on Blood Song and explain more reasons as to why I love it so much. It is a grimdark epic fantasy novel, but it does things that other fantasy novels do differently. So I'm very much looking forward to reviewing this one for you guys as well. And finally, the last book that I've managed to find time to read was Invisible Planets. This was translated by Ken Liu. If you guys don't know anything about Invisible Planets, it is a a science fiction Chinese anthology and it has so many great stories for you guys to read. Some of my favorite authors from Invisible Planets is Huai Jing Feng and Zia Jaya. But seriously, they are my two favorite Chinese science fiction authors right now. Their short stories in here are phenomenal. And if you guys haven't read this so far, I encourage you guys to do so. It is seriously so good. And I believe there is a new Chinese science fiction anthology that just came out this year. And I will put um, the picture of that new book up here on the screen for you guys to check it out as well. This is great. I loved it. I also will review this in detail as well. So that is it. Those are the books that I've been reading within the past six months or so while I was in graduate school. Please 
let me know if you guys have read any of these books or if you haven't, let me know what books you have been reading recently. Um, be sure to subscribe to get more video content from me and don't forget to hit that bell notification button so you guys don't miss a new video when it's uploaded. Until then, happy reading. Bye.